Hi, welcome to another video of mine. Um, today I'm going to discuss multi tools. It's um, one of my uh, favorite things. I like to play with them, carry them around, use them. Um, my other half thinks I've got a problem with them, but I'm going to do a comparison, um, maybe over a few videos, um, but I'm going to compare these five multi tools. I mean, I have got more multi tools lying around, but this is a general overview of some of the most popular multi tools that you can buy. I've put it in price comparison, um, starting with the Ganzo being the cheapest, working up to the uh, Victorinox Spirit X, which at the moment on Amazon is the most expensive at £120. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the Ganzo, talk about the pros and cons, uh, and I'm going to work through till we get to the Victorinox Spirit, and then give an overview, see what I've, you know, a conclusion of what I feel is the best multi-tool, what I carry every day. Um, obviously, this is my own opinion, so you may feel different, um, but here we go. So, if we start with a Ganzo, this is the Ganzo G302H. I've had this about a year now. Um, I bought it from Gearbest. I think I paid £20 for it um, at the time. I mean, it's very similar to the Gerba suspension. I, I mean, I don't have the Gerba to hand to show you, but it's a butterfly opening the same as this. Very weighty. Not sure on the exact weight, but it is built like a tank. Now, what I do, I'll go through the tool. First of all, I'll show you the pliers. They do come with replaceable wire cutters, which is the reason I bought this. Um, I did have another Ganzo, a, um, a G202, which I ruined trying to cut a nail so one criticism I will say it does come with an external spring I have actually glued the spring in place because it did keep popping out but that's just a it's minor fault right let's fold it up so, firstly, it, the tools are all accessible on the outside, which I do like. I do find it handy. So, first tool, you have a straight edge blade. This did come This did come okay sharpish not nothing to write home about it is free 440 high carbon according to the box no nothing nothing amazing but a multi-tool is a compromise it's never going to be your best knife it's just a backup so it does lock in place what you do, you pull these two down to release it, and it's got a thumb press to open up. This mechanism does make the tool illegal to carry in the UK, um, but all the tools, I'm, multi tools I am showing you, are not to be carried on your person. These are for around the house, in your car, um, in your bag whilst out camping. There, all the tools or the tool knives lock on all these tools. Right. The other side, we have a wood saw. Fairly aggressive. Um, it does do okay. It is quite thick when you cut wood. I have taken this to the Lake District and cut branches um, whilst camping, and it does leave quite a thick groove when cutting but no play it does stay relatively 
steel. So that's the wood saw. If we move, let's do the same side. So move the wood saw. We've got an awl, a rather thick one. Um, it's more like a mini blade than an awl, but it does have a sewing hole in case you want it to do repairs. But to be honest, with that sort of size, I think you may ruin the item you're trying to repair. In the middle, this is the bit extender. We'll go into that in a minute. Sorry, trying to do this whilst filming. And on the other side, we do have a serrated blade. It is okay, it will cut rope, um, but it's nothing to write home about. It is pretty, pretty dull. It will cut. I'm not sure why it's got these alternating pattern. It doesn't really make a difference when I found cutting, but still nice to have the extra blade. Right, so back to the other side. Like I said, we had the knife. Next, we have a can opener. Um, I've tried this once does make it very difficult. It's not the best can opener. It will work in a survival situation, um, but nothing brilliant. A little lanyard hole. I do feel that could be replaced with something more useful. Um, you're never going to carry this on your land on your keys or on a lanyard. It is too heavy. Um, I would have rather have seen a Phillips screwdriver, even a two D Phillips screwdriver. It is just too. It's just. It is what it is. But it's wasted space, in my opinion. Um, we got. A micro, well, not quite a micro, but a small flathead screwdriver. And a pair of scissors. These scissors are, what I would say, um, identical to the Gerber scissors. Sorry, mouthful it. Scissors. They are pretty strong. It's got a nice back spring there. They do cut all right. I actually think they're slightly better than the old suspension I used to have. Um, nothing to complain about there. I do feel that they're all right. Let's just lock that down. And we go to the bit extender. What this is used for, let me just grab it. This is the pouch it comes with. Inside the pouch, you get a bit kit, which is very nice. Leatherman don't offer their bit kit free. Uh, Victorinox, you have to buy. Let's see where that's gone, hold on. Here we go. So, fits on like this. It does accept normal bit pieces that you can buy from the shop which is good because if I was to carry this all the time I probably would replace some of these like this one here is already on the tool I would have probably replaced that with something more useful maybe a different hex bit um, the bits are not the best quality they do I don't know if you can see I'm not sure what steel they use, um, but they're not amazing quality. They are just a coverall basis, um, but it doesn't fall out. It holds in place, which is which is good. And that 
props inside your case, which has a belt carry. Um, obviously, I wouldn't pre be putting this in my pocket. It's just too heavy if we pull my trousers down. Right, so overall, a very good tool for the price. Um, slight criticisms. The blade could be sharper. The lanyard, that could have been a different tool. That could have been a Phillips. The reason, the one big negative about this is the Phillips. Say you weren't carrying the bit kit with you. I, I like to have a can opener, bottle opener, a straight edge blade, a pair of scissors, preferably a wood saw, and a flat and Phillips screwdriver. But because of this, you need to carry this with you in order to have the screwdriver options, which defeats the object of having a lanyard because you've only got half your tools with you if you were to carry this on your keys. Um, Spring-loaded pliers. They are they're pretty good. They do what they say. I haven't extremely used them hard. They are needle nose. Um, you could do worse for twenty pound. I mean, at the moment, I feel that I believe that it is about twenty five pound on Gearbest. Um, but, but they've always got discount codes coming up. They do this in a black version which I will grab and show you. It's called the G302B, identical tools. Exactly the same tool, exactly the same parts, just a black coating. Not a bad black coating, actually. Some of the multi-tools I've had before, the black coating does come off in your hand. But no, this for those who like the stealthy tactical look, this may be the one. This is the G302B, which I guess stands for black. But there's that. So, thoughts on that. If you are on a budget, um, I would say definitely try this tool. Um, it is a bit of a tank, but there's nothing wrong with being well built, especially for a Chinese multi-tool. Normally they are hit and miss. Never had any issues with quality on this tool. As I say, the spring, easily fixed, bit of super glue, put the spring back in you can change the tension with the um, hex kit hex bit which I may actually carry on my other multi-tool to be able to change that um, there we go it's Ganzo G302H budget option um, out of 10 Probably a, a nice seven. There we go.